One school let out for summer, the Garcias always got straight B's. Barbecues, bathing suits, and basketball. <laughs> the Garcias dominate again. Yeah. Dude, do you see the way I took it to the rack? Shot from downtown and made a living at the three-point arc? Sorry, Mano. I was too busy watching the other guys go home crying to their mamas. Yeah. <laughs> No doubt about it, summertime rock, baby. It was the only time us kids liked to hear the word no. No teachers, no homework. No! No way, school supplies? A gift from me to you. Oh, you shouldn't have. No, really. It was official. Nothing signaled the end of summer like the smell of new number two pencils. I'm finally going to be an upperclassman. I can't wait for school to start to finally meet all the new kids. So you can show them around? More like boss them around. Well, no one's going to boss me around. This year is the year of George Garcia. Hanging out with Carlos in high school? How can I not be cool? Exhibit A. Carlos had spent the whole year swimming upstream trying to make sure he was part of the high school cool pool. But with each drop of drool from George's mouth would come his loss of cool. What's wrong, Mimo? Well, two kids in high school, two kids in middle school. My babies are growing up. Pretty soon they move out of the house never to be seen or heard from again. Except for the occasional pity call home because they feel guilty about abandoning their mother. Okay, mom could be a little dramatic, but she was right. I mean, we're all growing up, and the question was, would we also end up growing apart? <laughs> Now, don't get me wrong. I mean, I generally liked school. It was just that I liked summer a lot better. Larry, remember to take a bath. Okay, Mom. Later. I mean it, Larry. How does she do that? <clears throat> what? You know what. <gasps> Look, I didn't mean to scratch your CDs. You scratched my CDs? No, who told you that? Larry, we're here to talk to you about serious Garcia business. Now that George is in high school with me, you're gonna have to step up to the plate. And do what? Protect Lorena. From who? Bullies, danger, the lunch lady with all the hairy moles. You mean... Harry, Harry Mary. Mary. Ugh. Guys, I can barely protect myself. How am I supposed to protect Lorena? The code. It's your turn to learn the way of the code if you're ever going to become a true Garcia. The code is what gives Garcias their power. Any questions? Yeah, just one. Uh, what's the code again? You remember, all older Garcias got the back of younger Garcias. And the guys look after the girls. Yeah, but she... And yes, even if it is Lorena. I don't think I can do this. Larry, you don't have a choice. The code goes back since, like, since... A long time. Yeah. Use the code, Larry. Be the code. If you don't, you're never going to become a true Garcia. Hey! I was watching that. Plus is right. Give it back. Make me. No problem. Larry! Give Lorena the remote. For what? So she can see a dumb novella? Yes. Thank you. Remember the code. The code means I have to protect Lorena. And I was protecting her from a novella brain drain. You were not protecting her. You were fighting with her. But she started it. The code is a confusing and mysterious thing. Don't question it. I hope you're in the mood for a pasión y papas marathon. Let me bring you up to date. You see, Doña Rios secretly fallen in love with Renato, the Papa Fritas vendor. 
Bueno, me gusta muchísimo la cosa. Hey, bro, five more minutes and you gotta get off the computer, okay? No way! I'm about to help Laura Cruz Galaxy Raider wipe out the ruler of the headless people. On second thought. <gasps> breathe, bro, breathe. Sorry, but it had to be done. Monday's the first day of school and we have a lot of work to do. But what about my work with Laura Cruz? George, you gotta make some choices. High school isn't a game. Laura Cruz is out. Being cool is in and that takes work. I'm gonna be standing next to the coolest guy there. You. Nice suit. True. But what happens when I'm not around? You're gonna need a crash course in cool. Now let's go. Thanks, bro, but I'm gonna have to pass. Drop the cord or the sandwich gets licked. Easy, Carlos. Putting the cord down. Now come on. Carl's decided the best way to help George was with tough love, but would George be tough enough to handle all of that love? If George was planning on becoming as cool as Carlos, he was going to have to stand on his own two feet. Literally. Usually, I just slept right through George's sinus symphony, but with the thought of protecting Lorena keeping me up, it was more like a nostril nemesis. If I failed to master the code, my entry into the family tree would probably be written with disappearing ink. I gotta get some sleep, or I'll never be able to master the code. Remember the code, Larry. Be the code. Oye, mi amor, huevos rancheros, jamón, chorizo, papas fritas. <laughs> this isn't breakfast, it's a feast. Well, you know, with the kids growing up so fast, how many more times am I going to be able to make a back-to-school breakfast for everybody? For Carlos, indefinitely. Mommy, papi, what do you think? You look nice, mija. Nice? I look nice? How can you say this to my face? Brace yourself. Do you realize how important the FDO is? D FDO? First day outfit. It sets your style for the rest of the year, determines what clique you'll hang out with, regulates where you sit in the cafeteria. Yeah, and... what your father meant to say was, you look cute. Oh, thanks, Papi. What just happened? T H A. T H A? Teen hormone attack. I am so O-L-D. What's that? Old. Remember the code, Larry. Be the code. You must protect Lorena. Oh, honey, he didn't mean to. He was just trying to... Um, what, what were you trying to do, Larry? I was trying to protect her. Protect me? The only protection I need is from you. Ugh! Whoa, missed your mouth by a mile. Where's George? It's not down yet. Why? I just want to make sure that... Uh, I just don't want him to be late for his first day of high school. I'm curious, why are you so interested in helping George lately? I have a big heart. <laughs> okay, now I've gone from curious to worried. How do I look? High school, here I come. Woo! Tell me.
tell me I'm not styling. You are not styling. <laughs> You're right, Carlos. Your crash course really did pay off. Looks more like a crash dummy. To everybody else, it was the first day of school, but to me, it was judgment day. Hey! Would I rise to the occasion or would I? I, 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 I. It wasn't going to be easy protecting Lorena from all the way down here. That noise you just heard? Well, that was the sound of my eardrum bursting. Lorena, your outfit is so cute. No, yours is so cute. How was your summer? Well, I met this cute guy. And... One more cute and I will cute. <laughs> Okay, we can't talk with your brother hanging around. Don't worry. I lost my hearing after the... <coughs> we'll see you at break, Lorena. If your brother isn't around. <laughs> nice going, Velcro boy. Come on, you know I was just trying to... Yo, Garcia! Freshman computer nerd. This isn't happening to me. Hey, guys, isn't it awesome we're finally in high school? Yeah. Hey, we just got back from the library. Do you know they have four sections devoted to computers? And they all have T1 lines. No way. Hey, Carlos, aren't those your friends? <laughs> Not for long. Hey, well, gotta get to class. See you later, George. At break? No, at home. This class will be an all-inclusive history of the Crusades. Why the Crusades? European society and its economic infrastructure were recovering expeditiously from the Magyar, Viking, and Saracen hordes. There was a new spirit of adventure afoot. The middle classes fervently desired to capitalize on the eastern trade and surreptitiously sought to place a stranglehold on the Byzantines, the middlemen of the Eastern Empire. At that moment, I knew I had to sacrifice myself for Lorena. I felt the cold flowing through me. Mr. Garcia, what are you doing? Ruining my life? Okay, maybe it wasn't the coat I'd felt. Maybe I just had a bad churro for breakfast. Mm. Well, well, well. What do we have here? A love note. All those in favor of me reading it aloud? Uh, no! No! De Lorena, I really like your FDO. It's so J-Lo. Totally cute. Hmm. <sighs> Hey, Carlos, I saw you with some freshmen this morning. What was that all about? Oh, yeah, he needed uh, directions or something. Just remember, man, you talk to losers, you are a loser. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Look, I wasn't really talking to him. I know he's a total loser. Is that the word you were looking for, bro? Bro? With George mad at Carlos and Lorena mad at me, I mean, that evening was a quiet one. I mean, and sure, we've had quiet dinners before, but that night, I could actually hear Lorena's nose flaring. How come nobody's talking? It is unusually quiet. George, how was your first day of high school? Everything I heard about high school is true. The cool kids are really posers. Posers? Right. Is that a good thing? Well, I'll bet it was easier having your brother there. What brother? Carlos wouldn't even admit we were related. Carlos, is that true? The only brother I have is Larry. Good, because you can have him. Lorena. Puppy, Larry made my first day of school a nightmare. I was trying to protect you. Poser. I'm not a poser. Who asked you to? Poser is as poser does. I have to. It's the Garcia family code. Take it back. Well, let me tell you my code. Stay out of my face. Hey. Yeah. If you can't say anything nice about each other, don't say anything at all. What has gotten into you?
to you guys? You're not acting like true Garcias. I'm sorry, but I'm trying the best I can. I'm not hungry. Ditto. I'm mad, but not crazy. Uh, can you please pass the chalupas? Did you really deny George was your brother? Now, when you say deny, do you mean... The truth, Carlos. Try the truth. You'll feel so much better. Yes, I denied George was my brother. Why did you do that? This is one of those times where there's no right answer, isn't it? It's just that sometimes George can be a little embarrassing. You weren't embarrassed when you needed George's help with the internet. And you're not embarrassed when he helps you win at basketball. He's your brother, Carlos. And you, young lady, why did you say that about Larry? Because all day he was being a pest. If siblings disowned each other every time they pestered one another, there'd be no more families. And that's what we are, familia. But... No buts. So... No sos. However... Don't push it, Lorena. Both of you go up to your rooms and think about what you said today and what it means to be a family. Honestly, Ray, sometimes your children. My children? I... Can you believe, Carlos? And to think, I almost threw away all my cool shirts because of him. Oh, yeah, that was a close one. Can I come in? No, don't let him in, Larry. Look, I'm sorry for what happened at school today. I should have never denied you were my brother. Then why did you? Well, it's kind of complicated. You were embarrassed by me. I guess it's not that complicated. Yeah, I was afraid that you'd blow my reputation. Wow, Mom was right. When you tell the truth, you do feel better. I'm glad it made you feel better. Now this will make me feel better. Adios. Man, that guy never thinks about anybody but himself. Uh, George, a little, little help here? Sometimes opportunity knocks, and sometimes it just comes teetering down the hallway. Lunch. Larry, what are you doing? You almost got the books. Teacher, danger. Larry, pest. Go. Who am I kidding? I'll never learn the code. Don't give up, young Larry. Use the code, yes. Hear the code flow, yes. But I can't. I'm not like you guys. Concentrate, you must. Family love creates the code. Surrounded are we by its energy, yes. There's your brother over there. Where'd he get that Hawaiian shirt? Hana, loser? <laughs> yeah, all he needs is a grass skirt. <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on, what? I mean, you're not defending him, are you? Maybe he is. Maybe he should be sitting over there instead of with us. Now they're just St. Carlos. Good. He deserves it. You know, I think Poi Boy over there is rubbing off on you. I mean, look at your clothes. Yeah, they're so five minutes ago. You look like a boy band reject. <laughs> That's dead. Ouch, that was cold. Even I felt that one. I may be mad at him, but Carlos is still my brother. Maybe we shouldn't make fun of Carlos and George's clothes. It's not their fault their mom still dresses them. Yeah. <laughs> Lay off him. He's not a loser. I am for not admitting he was my brother in the first place. Thanks, bro. Look, maybe I'm not as cool as you guys think you are. 
And you know what? I don't care. But what I do care about is my brother. So back off. You guys deserve each other. <laughs> We're out. Look, I'm sorry about everything. Forget about it. Still, hermanos. You know it. Peter was ferried across the Bosphorus by the Emperor Alexius Comnenus. He'd been told by the Emperor other armies were coming to help him, but proceeded without them. Only to be killed by the Turks at Civitat. A bee! A bee! Save yourself! Okay, maybe I had overreacted in the past, but this time, the danger was real. I mean, I knew I had to do something. But what? Larry, use the code. The code, yes. <laughs> Let go of your conscious self and act on your instinct. Eyes can deceive you. Don't trust them. Four? For protecting me, Larry. Honey from bees was considered a rare and precious commodity by the Byzantines. I'm sorry I called you a pest. Ah, don't sweat it. You know, maybe I do need you to protect me all the time. Really? Nah. <laughs> that day, Lorena learned that I really wasn't out to make her life a nightmare. And even though I still had to figure out when to help her and when not to, I learned that I could trust my instincts. And then Tiny and I showed Carlos where the library was. Yeah, I don't know how I missed it all last year. You think you know a place. Did you venture inside? <laughs> uh, baby steps, Dad. Baby steps. How about the two of you? How was school today? Did you get along better? Yeah, Larry was a real hero today. He saved me and the entire class from a really boring lecture. Well, dinner's ready. Let's go. Come on. So we had all survived another first day of school, but there was one thing we could never survive without, each other. The code was with us. Todo para la familia. Everything for the family.